A few weeks ago, I shared an unbelievable skincare product that I didn't realize a ton of people had not heard of, but it can tighten your eyelids. This is the only product on the market that I know of that has been clinically proven to actually tighten the eyelids by up to 15%. The product is by Osmosis. This is their Catalyst AC11. This is a DNA repairing skincare product. It's also got a small amount of vitamin C in it, but I don't use it for my actual vitamin C serum because it's got such a low amount. I use it for the DNA repairing effects in it that will help tighten the skin. It will help uh, get rid of dark spots. If you have melasma, this is a great product for that. It is really good for helping with that sagging, drooping, uh, loose skin on the eyes. It's amazing if you have skin tags. It's proven that it can help skin tags to fall off. If you deal with redness uh, from broken capillaries, if you use this over time, it can actually heal those broken capillaries, which I had uh, one of them here that this really helped make a difference in. Overall, it will help give you a beautiful glow to your skin, but this is a DNA repairing product. Since so many of you were intrigued by this product and many of you purchased this and tried it out for yourselves, I always ask for feedback and I always tell you guys, hey, leave me a comment. Let me know how it worked for you or if I can help you to use it better into your skincare routine. So I did get quite a few questions on how to use this product and that's what I wanted to share with you today. This is a very kind of thin, lightweight serum, but as you can see, it has, I gotta be careful because it'll drip all down. As you can see, this has this kind of dark brown, orangey color to it. I mean, I don't know about you, but I definitely do not want my skin to look like this after I do my skincare but I already have it on and this is what my skin looks like after having it on. So that's what I wanna show you how to specifically incorporate this into your skincare routine. One of the biggest questions that I did receive on this product was a lot of people said, oh my gosh, this is so sticky when I put it on or now all of my other skincare products are peeling over top of it or it looks so brown or orange on my skin. So first I wanna quickly show you how I personally use it in my skincare routine to prevent all of that from happening and then I will move on to answer some of the other super popular questions. So to start out my routine, I always use a cleanser. Use any cleanser that you already own. You don't have to use this one. This is by the brand is clinical this is their cleansing complex this is my all-time favorite cleanser ever because it's not really just a cleanser it's kind of like a cleanser and a mild exfoliator in one so I like to use this on days where number one I'm in a hurry and I don't want to do a ton of steps or if I just want to have my skin just look a little more refined, a little more glowy, and when I'm wanting to just kind of use something a little more luxurious. After I cleanse my face, I always leave it damp when I move on to the next skincare step, but of course, when I'm filming, I'm not really able to do that. I've washed my face like 15 minutes ago, so I'm going to spray it with just some of my Aven Thermal Spring Water. This is just basically mineral water, uh, sterilized mineral water in a can. I love the super duper fine mist. This is a holy grail. I'm never without this. You can just keep your face damp. You don't have to invest in a can of water. <laughs> so now I wanna show you how I like to use Catalyst in my skincare routine. You can use it by itself, but for me, I like to mix it with one of their other serums called Rescue. If you are dealing with large pores or maybe you have a little bit of redness in your skin or rosacea, if you have inflammation in your skin, if you have melasma, this is a fabulous skincare product to use for that. But I watched Dr. Ben Johnson one day say, well, you don't have to use this by itself. You can actually mix the two of these together to kind of shear this out so the color uh, won't be as brown and this will help this to even penetrate better. And then they also recommend that you use their catalyst with their mist. This is called Infuse. One of my favorites, this is probably my fifth bottle of this, but you know, you don't have to invest in the spray hydrator, but I will say I do like the way this works better with this exact product. So my rescue, I just used it up a few days ago, but I can unscrew it, which I like that you can do that. And sometimes I'm able to get a little bit out of here. There's still just enough in here. Ooh, don't wanna waste that. Rescue is kind of like a sheer, slightly milky uh, looking type of really watery serum. I love the scent of this. It kind of smells like chlorine bleach. When I first started using it, I thought something was wrong with it, but that's actually what it's supposed to smell like. Now when I use Rescue in the morning, it's like, ah, oh, it's like that wonderful pick me up. Does anyone else who uses Rescue love the smell of it like I do? I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I actually love the scent of it. So then what I do, the directions on here say to use one 
to two pumps of catalyst. I mean, if we do that, that's going to be like way too much for our entire face, neck and chest. I mean, maybe if you're putting it like all over your body, I kind of think that companies say use one to two pumps because maybe you'll use up more product and buy more. I don't know. But I've even seen Dr. Ben Johnson who created this say, you do not have to use that much. Like all I use, and I know sometimes when I show it in my videos, I'll put too much on because I'm talking, not paying attention. But literally this was like maybe less than half a pump that I put in here. So you see how runny that is? And then I just kind of use my hand as a little bowl and then I stir it up. But then what I do is I take their mist because this is gonna help it to penetrate and to absorb even better. I will lightly mist my face. I don't know if you can see how light this mist is. And this is running all down my hand. So let's quickly use this. And then I also like to put like a few sprays of the mist in this little concoction here. So now I've turned it into, do you see how I've turned it into now just like a kind of a light orangey brown serum? And then this will blend seamlessly into my skin. And one thing with these osmosis serums, you don't wanna just gently put them on and then move on to the next step. Like I massage these into my skin and I actually take time to massage this in. And if it starts to dry, which it will because it's a super watery sheer serum, I'll just spray a few more sprays of my mist and continue to really work this in my skin. I get it all the way up under my eyes, but I also put it directly on my eyelids. And that's really the main thing I like to use this for. And I will even take like another little Boop, just the tiniest little dot of this. And then I will concentrate it all by itself on my eyelids. So this is completely dry. I mean, that's how fast it dries down. It doesn't stay sticky or gloppy on your skin. But if you use too much, then yeah, it probably will be sticky. But this is not sticky at all on my skin. And if you're feeling like it's feeling sticky, then add a little more of your mist and then massage it in some more. But I always like to take it one step further to really make sure this product is going to town and penetrating as deep as it possibly can into my skin. So this is their Epic Skin Tool that I like to use. And I like the name Epic because it really is. When I first got it, do you see this? It looks like a torture device. Do you see how pokey these things are? If you don't like micro needling the derma roller and actually puncturing your skin with the needles, this might be something that you want to try. This to me is like the next best thing next to derma rolling. I personally don't really derma roll every now and then. I used to, you know, around my lip lines, but I don't like to use a derma roller because if you have melasma, not just hyperpigmentation, but if you have actual melasma derma rolling, it can be, it's tricky because you can actually cause inflammation and that inflammation triggers the melanocytes to get darker. So if you derma roll and you see that your skin, your melasma is getting darker, that's probably why. So I usually don't derma roll. However, I like to push my products deeper into my skin and I love this kind of lymphatic drainage this gives. I love how it kind of reduces puffiness and it actually feels really good. Let me zoom in so you can see this. Can you see that? And it just kind of pinks up the skin and it leaves like these little indentations. I mean, those go away, of course. I think there's studies on this show that this helps the product to penetrate 30% deeper than if you just use your hands. So, you know, golly, if I'm spending money on my skincare, I want it to penetrate. So using something like this, and this is super heavy. It's nice and sturdy. I mean, it feels really luxurious. I've tried different ones on Amazon because you know I'm always trying to save money and see if I can get something cheaper, but none of theirs even compared to this. They have some neat little rollers which are nice for cooling. You know, the smooth rollers, they don't push it in like this does, but this really helps to push that product in. So I will just go over my whole face and then I'll even go a little bit on my eyelids really gently to push it into my eyelids and to get rid of any puffiness or any fluid that's trying to accumulate around my eyes that will cause puffiness. Especially if my under eyes are puffy, I will go right here under my eye and I'm really gentle and I will just roll it up and it helps to get that fluid moving so it will reduce that puffiness under my eyes and it'll help push this product in deeper. That's the main reason I use this. And then since I also use this for that like lymphatic drainage, I will also use it on my neck. I mean, do you see how it's like gripping this muscle here on my neck? If you deal with neck issues, which I do, I mean, I had a nice little neck surgery right here and I have titanium cages in my neck now, but if you deal with neck issues, 
this is a beautiful massage for your neck. So if you have this product and you can't figure out how to use it, hopefully this little demonstration helps. My skin is not sticky anymore. It's nice and soft. Everything's penetrated into my skin and I'm able to move on to the very next step. Now, if you would just wanna put on a moisturizer or if it's you know morning and you wanna put on a moisturizing sunscreen, you can be done with your skincare. But if you watch my channel, you know that I love hydration. I just want my skin to plump up as plump as I possibly can get it by adding adding as much watery, you know, humectant, hydrating type products to my skin. So I'm gonna go one step further. I'm gonna mist my face again because I always mist in between steps so that each product will penetrate better. And then I'm gonna use one of my favorite serums. This is the Needleless Serum by Dermatology. They say it's like a Botox in a bottle which is not actual Botox, but it's got beautiful peptides in it that will help firm up the skin. Oops, I'm dripping it. And help plump the skin. And it's, you see how watery it is. You know, my wrist is gonna be nice and hydrated. But it, it just feels like you're putting on kind of like a slimy water. But this will plump up my skin. This has niacinamide, this has ceramides, this has beautiful humectants, antioxidants, this it's just an amazing serum. I think this is their number one serum that they sell. But if you know you look in the mirror and you're like, man, my fine lines and wrinkles are really standing out today and really annoying me, I will take just a little bit more and then I will concentrate it right on those little areas that I want a little extra help. Maybe even around your lip lines, I'll just put it on there but I put it all over my face, neck, and chest. And then if you have those fine lines and wrinkles and you're thinking, man, I just need to go get Botox or fillers to fix that, try something like this first, a good hydrating serum, and see if you can plump that skin up with this, because maybe that's all your skin is needing. It might just be super dried up and dehydrated like a raisin, but you want it to become a grape and get plumped up and full of water. That's basically what this will do. That's why I think a lot of people were calling it a Botox in a bottle, but it's not just like adding some water to the skin. I mean, this is adding really impressive ingredients to really make a difference in the plumpness and the hydration and the smoothness and that glow in the skin. And over time, the more you use it, you might just say, you know what, maybe I don't need to get Botox or fillers because you end up liking the way your skin is looking. So you don't see that brown serum, it's not sticky. My skincare products are not gonna pill over top. Everything is nice and absorbed because I really took the time to push it down in there. My skin feels super duper hydrated, but it also kind of feels tight from that catalyst. When you do your moisturizing step, or I'm gonna skip moisturizer altogether today because I'm gonna use this moisturizing sunscreen from Dermatology, but I'm not gonna use a tinted one today because this regular one, if I still have any little uh, residuals of that tint on my skin, this will kind of help balance it out. So I use roughly about six pumps of this. And then, and I still have a little left on my hand, but I like to rub in what I have on first, and then I'll put the next layer on. There are two other tricks that you can do if you're like, I do not like leaving this on my skin. Number one, one little trick you can do, say you have a skin tag or broken capillary or you know something that you're trying to help remove off of your skin or maybe fade uh, you know, a pimple spot. This is great when I have acne because it will really help it to heal faster and fade it. What you can do is put a little dot of this on say your skin tag or you know a pimple that's already healed and you're trying to prevent it from scarring. Put a little dot on there and put a little band-aid uh, not the kind with the adhesive, but like the hydrocolloid type uh, patches or they have the little hydrocolloid uh, bandages. Put a little uh, hydrocolloid patch on there and leave it on overnight and then you can wash it off in the morning and that will over time help that skin tag to fall off. Actually, I think they have proven results of skin tags that come off with this product. That's another way you could use it. And then another way you can use it that Leah from Skin Beautiful RX told me, if you just are like, no, I wanna wash this off, but I want the benefits of this, there is a way you can use this as a face mask. That is when you would use one or two pumps put it all over your face, leave it on for 20, maybe 30 minutes, and then rinse it off and proceed with the rest of your skincare. That was a little trick that she gave me and I thought that was genius to do. And I've now even heard Dr. Ben Johnson saying that that's another way that you can use it 
whatever you have to do to get this into your skincare routine, it really is that impressive. Oh. Another question I got is some people said, well, when I go to sleep at night, this rubs off on my pillow. So that is the one thing that used to annoy me about this, but what I do, I've got two tricks for you. So what I do, first of all, when I do my skincare, if I go to bed at say midnight or whatever time I go to bed, I will usually do my skincare at like eight o'clock at night. Now I know some people are not able to do that, but try not to wait until you're about to jump in the bed and then do your skincare and then jump right in the bed because all of your skincare is gonna rub off on your pillow, especially if you're a side sleeper like I am. So I like to give my skincare plenty of time to absorb into my skin so that when I do go to sleep at night, you know, my pillow's not stealing all of my nice products. I'm able to reap the benefits of my skincare. The other thing so that my pillowcase is not like sucking up all of my skincare, you know, cotton, it's absorbent, it's gonna absorb. So I don't sleep on cotton pillowcases, I sleep on a silk pillowcase. I brought like 10 silk pillowcases here with with me to South America. These are my absolute favorites. I get these on Amazon. Silk is not only really good for your skin, but it's great for your hair. Like I haven't even brushed my hair today. I colored my roots and washed and blow dried it last night. And when you sleep on silk, it prevents my hair from looking, you know, like Medusa, like it usually would in the morning. So I always have to have a silk pillowcase with me, but I also bring my own pillow everywhere I go. So if you are like, oh my gosh, I sleep on my side. I wish I could sleep on my back so that my pillow is not absorbing my skincare get a good uh, pillow that's going to help you to sleep on your back. This is a pillow I've had for probably four years. I have three of these. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And so when you're sleeping and you're automatically thinking to turn over, these little bumpers, it just naturally prevents you from tossing back and forth and turning over. Now, I am a side sleeper. I just like sleeping on my side. So I actually use this and sleep on my side. This is nowhere near as expensive as those other pillows that a lot of people rave about, which I do have one of those too, and I like it, but not as much, so I put it in storage. But this one, I can sleep on my side, and oh, this is just, this is an amazing pillow. So I use silk, I use my special little pillow that I take everywhere with me, and that will help me to stay on my back and to keep my skincare on my skin all night long. Another person asked how this could permanently work because I had said this is not a temporary fix, it's a permanent fix. I don't mean that we're never going to age. I don't mean that you're you know, gonna get tight eyelids and they're never going to get saggy. I mean, as we age, we have to continue to do things, not just with what we're putting on our skin, but you know, our lifestyle style, things that we eat. You know, we have to be mindful of all of that as we age. What I mean by it's not a temporary fix is because you can't just wash it off like some of those other products that say they tighten the eyelids, but then you wash them off and your eyelids are like back to here. That's not what this does. It's not like a wash off product that just gives you those temporary results. This product actually can permanently change what the eyes are doing. Like I said, the results showed that it gave a 15% improvement in the eyelid tightening. Once you wash Catalyst off, it's still going to work deep inside the skin. And then the more you use it every single day, you will eventually see those permanent changes in your skin. If I didn't cover something and you still have a question, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'm happy to help out answer your question. I love hearing from you all, especially I love your tips and tricks. I would have never known to put it on my eyelids if it wasn't for one of you guys.